Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, and today we'll be talking about all the debuts that will be released in 2023. Let's get, let's get going. So there's actually quite a lot of books in 2023 that's coming out. Like it's packed. <laughs> I never seen so much books in my life. So we have a lot to talk about. So um. Yeah, and if you're interested, I'll also leave the link down below so you guys can check it out yourself. And yeah, this is just my old bullet journal that I'm using. It's my old one. So, um, yeah, and there's that. So, oh, my first book is A Luminous Fate by Kaylee Smith. And this is like a witchy kind of book, so... Fate does not choose the weak, fate chooses the ready. Calope Rosewood is a witch with a long streak of bad luck, like all witches and lustrous. Her fate is directly tied to witch dice, powerful artifacts that have blessed her kind with limitless magic, but also set them on a path toward this destruction. Cursed with unspeakable powers that terrify even the most dangerous witches and fae, Kala deserted her coven four years ago and has been in hiding with her two best friends since. But Kala is also hiding a grave secret. She is the only three worlds away from becoming the last blood warrior and starting, starting the final war that will decimate her people and eliminate their magic. And this book comes out in January 3rd, 2023. On March 14, we have a book called We're All Lying by Maddie Steele. And so, Cash lives an enviable life, a successful career with two great kids and a handsome husband. Then an email from her husband's mistress Emma brings the facade of perfection crumbling around her, setting off a chain of events when buried secrets come back to hard turn. A taunting emo turns into stalking and escalates into much worse. Ethan and Case try to move on, then Emma disappears. No longer considered a victim, Case finds herself the prime suspect and center of the investigation. Her dark secrets, including one she didn't know existed, threaten to destroy everything they have worked for. And this comes on March 14. So, and we have another book called A Realm of Ash and Shadow by Laura Buckheat. And this comes on July 2023. So, I have no idea what to develop, but let's just read it. Ancient year old Princess Valia Bellold, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, is sure of three things. She was exiled from Empyrean because her father didn't want the hassle of raising her. That's harsh. Her perfect will will be better off without a mortal raised monass with a foul mouth and penchant for trouble. Neither of those things matter when a horde of demons crashes prom. Well, I mean, that's always nice, right? <laughs> Forced to fight for her life, Valeria narrowly escapes being captured by a realm of the Forsaken, only to be dragged back to Empyrean before she is meant to return. Instead of the beautiful utopia from her bedtime stories, Val finds herself thrown into a hellish nightmare when a poor are dying. The rich are thriving and her claim to the throne is in jeopardy. But not if Valeria can help it. So, it sounds really pretty interesting, so I'm excited for that book. Okay, so my next one is To Poison a King from S.G. Prince and this comes on April 4th, 2023. So, Celine, so this book is a standalone that's like a breathtaking fantasy about sacrifice, self discovery, and a girl tasked with saving the very man she aimed to kill. Celine is the youngest daughter in the gifted line of healers, born to serve as the king's royal physician. Yet, when Celine's mother, Persephone, embroils her in a plot to kill the king, Celine finds herself poisoning the very man she is sworn to protect. You know that's gonna go wrong in so many ways. Like, come on. <laughs> Things seem bleak, but there's another problem. You see what I mean? The toxin doesn't work, and the king doesn't die. Rather, he awakes from his carbon paralyzed, 
and went off the attempt on his life and furious. With the palace in a state of upheaval and everyone hunting for the king's poisoner, Palacio flees and leaving Selene the task of rehabilitating the man she aimed to kill, all while hiding her true role in his demise. What follows is a journey spanning years and continents as a king and servant develop into unlikely friends and more. Yet the closer to Ling grows to the king, the more her secret weighs on her as she does her growing fear that Persephone, having failed the king not once, might return to try again. It sounds really, really cool. Okay, so the next book is Made of Stars by Jenna Vodis, and that comes on March 28, 2023. And this is a retail of Bonnie and Clyde, so that sounds exciting. And Shane and Emma are a team. He steals the air effect, she charms the mark, and together they take what they need. Not even their distracting chemistry could get in the way. Until Shane was caught and left rot on a prison moon. Now freshly escaped from confinement and simmering with anger, he has sights set on the biggest job yet. Cyrus just graduated from the flight academy with a shiny new position lined up reporting to a well-respected general. On his very first assignment, he stops the outlaw in their tracks, or he would have, if the annoyingly handsome Locke hadn't fallen for Ava's deception. But when Shane uncovers a top secret plot that will leave his home and world at the mercy of Cyrus' military leaders, he makes it in his mission to thwart them all at all costs. It isn't long before Shane and Alva make into cellar head times with each new heist. And thanks to a chance run, and with the rebels, Cyrus is caught between two versions of the truth. He must pick a side and fast, because Shane and Alva will bring the planet to its knees. Or die trying. And my next one is Sing Me to Sleep by Gabby Burton, and this is coming out on June 27, 2023. And this is about a Simon who must choose between protecting her family and following her heart in a plain justice kingdom where her existence is illegal. Sayoda's so called survives survives the lines as a soldier in training at the most prestigious barracks in the kingdom. She lies about being a siren to avoid execution. At night, working as an assassin for a dangerous group of mercenaries, Sayonis lies about her true identity, and to her family, Sayonis tells the biggest lie of all, that she can control her siren powers and doesn't struggle constantly against an impulse kill. So, that sounds really fun. I love when books are about sirens and mermaids. It just adds all the spiciness. So if you like Paolo Bacigalupi and Lainey Taylor, then this book is for you. This one is Under This Forgetful Sky by Lauren Yellow. And this is coming out July 18, 2023. So, 16-year-old Lulumi Samroni, I'm sorry if I said that wrong, has spent his entire life behind the armored walls of St. Irgal, which protects citizens of the Union of Upper Cities from the outside world's environmental devastation. But when rebels infect his father with a fatal virus, Remy escapes St. Irgal, desperate to find a cure. In the ruined city of Paniso, Remy meets 15-year-old Paz, who agrees to guide him on his journey. As they travel together, Ruby finds himself drawn to Paz, and behind her tough exterior, she begins to feel the same way. But Paz knows more about Ruby's fallen illness than she's saying, and has her own agenda. With the powerful forces at play in the cities, putting them at odds, can the two learn to trust each other enough to imagine a different world? So we have another book, and this, this one is actually in 2024, but I just thought I would show it anyways. And this is The Poison We Drink by Bethany Baptist, and it comes out in 2024 in February. And all we know is that any burglar at Sourcebooks Fire has... 
Um, in a country divided between witches and humans, an 18-year-old black brewer of love potions must protect her sister after she is caused into making powerful potions to persuade and enslave Washington's most influential politicians before they find themselves in the middle of a war that could cost them everything. So, that's all that we have for now. And, um, yeah, go check it out. So, on August 15, 2023, we have A Tall Dark Travel by Vanessa Montalbo. And this is actually a Cuban-American family of Brunas who gets entangled in love, magic, and murder alternating between 1980s Cuba and present-day Miami. So twin sisters Ophelia and Delphi knew better than to get involved in magic. Their mom has seen to that. After all, it was magic that cursed her family, turning love into a poison. Romance is off the table for the Sanchez woman. They have seen the curse take hold enough times to know how that world ends. And yet, sometimes a girl catches feeling that just can't help herself. When Ophelia and Delphi begin having promotions of a series of murders, the sisters know it is time to embrace the magical inherent to get to the bottom of the mystery and save innocent lives. Teaming up with their best friend Ethan and with brooding detective in training Andreas, Andres, the sisters set out, the, set out to learn the truth. They just need to make sure Miami, Ma Miami doesn't find out what they're up to. So, that sounds really cool. Cinderella retails. I know we have a lot of Cinderella retails. So, but here's one for you in case you like it anyways. So this is Midnight Strikes by Zema Zahanas. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. And this comes out in March 14, 2023. 17 year old Agnes just wants tonight at to end. As an outsider of the kingdom's glittering anniversary ball, she has no desire to have shoulders with the nation's most eligible and pompous bachelors, especially not the notoriously rubbish Prince Leo. But at the stroke of midnight, an explosion rips through the palace, killing everyone in its path including her. The last thing Anya sees is fire, smoke, chaos, and then she wakes up in her bedroom. Hours before the ball, no one else remembers the deadly attack or believes her warning of disaster. Not even when it happens again, and again, and again. If she's going to escape this nightmarish time loop, Anya must take control of her own fate and stop the attack before it happens. But the coarse gliding surface belays a rotten core, full of restless nobles grabbing at power, discontent commoners itching for revolution, and even loyals who secretly dream of taking the throne. It's up to Aeneas to untangle these knots of deadly deceptions, if she can survive past midnight. <laughs> that sounds shivers. <laughs> So, we also, another one is The Daughters of Isdihad by Hadley Ellisbay, I think that's what you say. So, this is the first book in a duology, and this comes on January 10, 2023, and it's about set in a folding new world but, but inspired by modern Egyptian history about two young women, Nehai, a spoiled aristocrat, used to getting what she wants, and Georgia. Gio or Gio Regina, a poor bookshop worker used to having nothing, who find they have far more in common, particularly the struggle for the rights of women and their ability to fight for it with forbidden elemental magic. That sounds really cool. This kind of reminded of Prince of Egypt. I don't know why, maybe because of the book cover, but it reminds me of Prince of Egypt. We have Aces Wild, A Heist by Amanda DeWitt, and this comes on September 13, 2023. So, what happens in Vegas when an all asexual online friend group attempts to break into high stakes gambling club shenanigans ensues? Of course. Some people join chess clubs, some people play football. Jack Shannon runs a secret blackjack ring in his primary school basement 
What else is the son of your Las Vegas casino mongrel supposed to do? Everything starts falling apart when Jack's mom is arrested for the family's lies in an organized crime. His sister Beth thinks, that, thinks this is the Shannon's family chance to finally go straight, but Jack knows that something's not right. His mom was sold out, and he knows by who. Peter Colorado, rival casino owner, and Jim Finn lover. Gross. That's actually what it said. Jack hatches a plan to find out what Colorado is holding over his mom's head, but he can't do it alone. He recruits his closest friends, the asexual support group he met through fandom forums. Now all he has to do is infiltrate a high-stakes gambling club and dodge dark family secrets while hopelessly navigating what it means to be in love by all asexual. Easy, right? So my camera died. Yay! No, I'm just kidding, but... So I will be recording from my phone because my camera died, so I am charging it right now. So, let's go on with my next book. My next book is Burlington by Hannah Dixon, and this comes out on August 2023. August 2023, and it's about on um, belonging, obsession, and schoolyard politics. Bulletin is a, is a suspenseful debut novel that explores the exclusive role of wealthy mothers and demonstrates how privilege can come at a devastating price. So this, it just says August 2023, so yeah. So. If you like The Ninth House by Leah Balundago, uh, this book will be for you. It is The Book of Fates by Rachel Moon, and it comes out in 2023. So it's about a paranormal rom-com as the so, and the following go on a quest to connect her late father to a mysterious book, leading her to an equally mysterious boy, who is definitely cute. Is probably a ghost and just might be behind a string of dip disappearances at her school. So, on January 31st, we have The Black Queen by Jumata and Mio. And this is about Nova Alvey, who was going to be, be the first black homecoming queen at Lavetti High, but now she's dead. Murdered on a coronation night, fans of one of us is lying, and the other black girl will love this and put down a book pillar. Nova Albright, the first black homecoming queen at Lovett High, Lovett High is dead. Murdered the night of a coronation, her body found the next morning, and in, in the old slave cemetery, she spent her weeks rehabilitating. Tinsley MacArthur was supposed to be queen. Not only is she beautiful, wealthy, and white, it's her legacy, her grandmother, her mother, and even her sister wore the crown before her. Everyone in Lovelet knows Tinsley would do anything to carry on the MacArthur tradition. If you really like Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson, it is, Maureen is coming out with book number five, Nine Liars. And it's coming out on December 27, 2022. So, so my next book is Those We Draw by Amy Goldsmith. And it's coming on July 1st, 2023. And it's like an ocean drenched atmospheric horror debut. Liv's best friend disappears on the first night aboard the Dream Semester at Sea Program. But is he really, is he really sick? Like Ellen says, or is something dark of lurking beneath the water? So, yeah, it sounds really interesting. I'm, I'm ready. July 25th, 2023, we have The Sun and the Void by G Gabriella Lamio La Cruz. So this is set in a lush world inspired by the history and folklore of South America. Discover this sweeping epic fantasy of colonialism and country, ancient magic, and a young woman's quest for belonging. Nina arrives at Aguilar Manual, her heart stolen from her chest. She is on the verge of death until her estranged grandmother, a dark sorceress in the dawn's 
employee intervenes in them to a woman she never knew and smitten with the upper caste daughter of the house Celeste, Raina will do anything to earn and keep the family's favor, even the bidding of the ancient god who speaks to her from the manor's foundations. To save the woman she loves, Raina will have to defy the gods themselves and becoming something she never could have imagined. Okay, so this book is kind of confusing because I don't know if it's actually called The Glass Fortress by Tessa Barbosa or if it's called The Moonlight Blade. So, uh, but The Moonlight Blade will come out on March 7th by 2023 and The Glass Fortress is 2023. So I don't know if these two are the same one. But um, for the glass fortress, when 17 year old Nana Jal enters a violent, mysterious competition to save the life of her mother, she will need to use more than just her strength and wits. She will need to discover the forbidden magic inside her if she hopes to survive. So that's not the glass fortress, but again, I don't know if that's the same as the, the Moonlight Blade. So, um, yeah, because she just, she actually announced it on her Twitter, the Moonlight Blade. So, I'm assuming that it's the same one. We're halfway there. I know this is so long, I'm sorry, but there's just so many books and I just don't want to miss any of them. So, but, um, I probably will be, so I'm sorry. So, my next book is Blood Dips by Terry J. Benton Walker. And this comes on April 4th, 2023. And this is a new contemporary fantasy debut with powerful magical families, intergenerational curses, and deadly drama in New Orleans. So again, we have another book that doesn't have a date, or it doesn't, and it just says To Kill a Shadow by Catherine Quinn. It comes out in 2023. And this is about a romantic high fantasy pitched as Stephen King's The Mist midst the Night's Watch from Game of Thrones, in which a warrior recruit ventures into a monster-filled mist to free the cursed sun goddess and bring light back to the kingdom, led by the handsome commander whose secrets may do them all. In March 2023, we have a book called Miracle by Karen S. Chow. And this is a book where Annie has spent her life perfectly in tune with Baba, her father. She plays the violin, his favorite instrument. She loves all his favorite foods, even if he can't eat them during his cancer treatments. And they talk about books, including Annie's favorite series, Harry Potter. But after Baba dies, Annie feels distance from everyone close to her, like her mother and her best friends, and Mia and Bella. More devastating still, she loses her ability to play the violin. The notes that she used to flow freely are now stilled and sharp. Will Annie ever find her way back to the music she once loved? So coming up with the first book, uh, that's all that we have. It's learning the first book of something. It's called What Shadows Rain by Patrice Caldwell. All I know, it comes out in 2023, and, but apparently, it's about set in the aftermath of the war between vampires, humans, and the gods that created them. The duology opener follows a vampire princess who teams up with the Thessia, who only has a vision of death, to a journey to the island of the dead, a mythical place where all souls go at the end to see if her kidnapped best friend. And that's all the information that we have. So, on May 1st, 2023, we have The Alchemy of Moonlight by David Ferraro. And this is like about when Emilius Hunt declares he must marry or be disowned for being gay, he runs away to hide as a servant in Camatoni's mansion. In this service, Emilius tends to the family who all suffer a strange affliction on the full moon and after overhearing suspicious family arguments he finds a body on the estate 
drawing the attention of a handsome doctor as well as the Count's communistic nephew, Henry. Before Emmeline can sort out his affection or unravel the growing Martoni family mystery, his identity is revealed and his aunt comes to collect him. When she arrives, Count Martoni forces everyone to depart to the remote Odolpo castle when there are no witnesses and no chance for escape. There, Emmeline realizes that he will have to risk his life to find the love he deserves and survive the Martani family. Coming up on June 20th, 2023, we have The Wicked Unseen by Gigi Griffiths. The girl in town is having trouble fitting into a community that believes that there's a secret satanic cult. Conducting rituals in the woods, when her crush goes missing, she starts to wonder if the town's obsession with evil isn't covering up something far worse. We have another mysterious book because we have no summary whatsoever. And this is for She Is Well by Emily Rodica. And this book does come out in 2024. And all it says is Count of Monte Cristo fantasy when hate to love vibes about a girl determined to exact her revenge. So, if a, and this is ill, it's a Pakistani cocktail mystery. So, if you like that, you'll like this book. Also, this is another book in 2024, but I will share it anyways. Uh, it is Then Girls Walking by Sammy Ellis, and it's Temple Serious Killer's Daughter because we can't count her to find out if her father really killed her mother. But things go wrong when campus starts to go missing, and Temple realizes there may be a copycat among them all. And Temple realizes there may be a copycat hunting them. On February 7th, 2023, we have Such Pretty Flowers by K.L. etc by K.L. Sarah. So this is about a woman investigating her brother's apparent suicide, trying to solve fallen in her prime suspect, his darkly mysterious girlfriend, in this edgy southern gothic thriller. On June 6, 2024, we have Our Vengeful Souls, Our, Our Vengeful Souls by Christy McManus. And it's about in line with the classic fairy tale of the Little Mermaid, Hans Christian Andersen, and the mythical adventure lord, Alexandra Bracken. Our Vengeful Souls takes you on a journey of loss, love, and vengeance into the life of one of fairy tales' most famous villains. On June 27, 2023, we have Starlings by Amanda Linsenmeyer, and this is about a dark white fantasy debut. If you like House of Horror and Small Famous, so in the wake of her father's death, a teen girl discovers a side of her family she didn't know existed, and is pulled into a dark an ancient bargain she is next in line to fulfill. On July 25th, 2023, we have The Vicious Game by Jarrell Wellington. It is a black teen desperate to regain her Ivy League acceptance, enters an elite competition only to discover the stakes aren't just high, but then deadly. In the searing thriller that Ace of Spades meets Squid Game, with sprinkling of the bachelor. Oh, that sounds really interesting. Next book is the Royal Matchmaking Competition, Princess Cooley, and it's Zoe G. Galoya, and it comes out in November 4th, 2022, if you're interested. This kind of reminds me of the selection series. So, um, so we have one princess searching for her Prince Charming, 12 princesses, dukes, elves, and a commoner writhing for the princess's heart. One assassin among the bachelors plotting to kill the princess and bring the emperor to his knees. So it kind of reminds me of the selection series, even though I have not read it, but it kind of is. So on June 1st, 2023, we have Shanghai Immortal by A. Y. Xiao. 
and this is eventually told a lot fantasy deviant teens with Chinese deities and demons cavalating in jazz age Shanghai. So, we have pawned by her mother to the king of hell as a child. Lady Jing is half vampire, half holy Jing, holy Jing fox spirit and all is hassle. As the king's ward, she has spent the past 90 years running errands, dodging the taunts of the spiteful Holy Jane courtiers and trying to control her explosive temper with varying levels of success. So when Jane overhears the courtiers plotting to steal a priceless dragon pearl from the king, she seizes her chance to expose them once and for all. That sounds so exciting. I can't wait for it. And we are done with one more book to go. And that is The Scorpion Queen by Mina Fears. And that is all that we have. But it comes out in April 2nd, 2024. And that is all the information that we have. Okay, that is all the books that comes out in 2023. I know I missed a lot, but these are just some of the things that are interesting. So I thought I might share with you guys. It was a lot, <laughs> that much I can say, but if you did, please give like, comments, and subscribe so that you won't miss any of my videos and turn on, on the notification bell so that every time I post, you won't miss. And comment below what you're excited for 2023 releases. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!